This is 90.1 FM's Jazz Classics. We do this every Saturday over Sunday, and uh, we have a good time doing it, and we have, and we don't have anything cued. Did it, did it. Tell you what we'll do, though. We'll get something cued immediately. WABE had a jazz program, and the person who was doing it, they had to relieve him for whatever reason, I don't know. So they hired me on a temporary basis until they found someone to replace them. I'm still waiting for that replacement 30 years later, 32 years later. I don't care if I've been on the air 10, 15, or 20 years. I program every time I come on as if it's, as if it's the first time, and there are people who are joining me for the first time. Consequently, I've got to play something to capture their ear. If you came into the middle of my program, you'll say, hey, what's that? That's nice. I like that. And you'll listen. You lie away. Yeah. yeah. Did you like it? <laughs> OK. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. I get a lot of calls. It's almost like congratulatory calls, you know, thank, thanking me for playing what I play. Sometimes I ask them, what are you doing up this time of night, you know, and they're listening to me. Then there's the other kinds of phone calls I get, weird, strange, off-the-cuff calls. But I found something, even though I think they're insane, some of them, they still like jazz, you know? Music hath charms, you know the rest of that. I hang out in town with uh, local musicians, most of them that I deal with, I like. One name that comes to mind is Joe Branston. Hello, young lovers, whoever you are, I hope your troubles are few. All my good wishes go with you tonight. I've been in love like you. Well, I think H and I connect on a certain level because we, we love the same style, we love the same era in music. I mean, He'll say, have you ever heard this record? And I'll say, yeah, I love that record. And I'll say, how about this one? Have you ever heard this? And he'll say, yeah, I, I have that right here, you know? We hope tonight this is Gene Ammons hitting the joint. So even though we have uh, quite a few years between us in age, we're like little kids when we get together when it comes to talking about jazz. But for Cafe 290 and for my big band and for Ace Johnson, he's been here every time, and it's just fantastic. A lot of the folks in the audience have never seen H. They hear him every Saturday night for years and years and years, but they've never seen him, so they're so excited now to see him and to meet him and to get to talk to him, and, and he's a superstar to them. Every other Monday, Joe Granson's band is here. It's called on like wildfire. It was decided that it would be a great night to honor not just H tonight, but the musicians that he illuminates on his radio show. And some comedians, too. Nothing I wouldn't do for you, right? We're friends from 35 years ago at the Chastain. And nothing you wouldn't do for me. And that's our relationship. We've done nothing. I've done nothing for him. <laughs> and he's done nothing for me. And that's my time. And I love you for coming out here. What a great evening. I knew there was going to be some kind of tribute. But I've been there and done that before. You're just too marvelous. I didn't think much of it. I thought, well, here we go again. This, you know, I didn't know it would be this big fanfare. And had I known, I would have worn a suit and a tie. <laughs> well, you know what's really a beautiful thing when you're talking about H. Johnson is the fact that the mayor of Atlanta got together with city council and they've issued a proclamation that uh, this is H. Johnson Day. We can't wait to see the expression on his face. See what kind of answer he has for that, you know. Hmm. H. Johnson Day. Wow. Still, I can't get over that. What did I do to deserve that? I played music on the air. Huh? How many people do that?
We're going to be playing more from that CD, perhaps tonight, if you give us a call. Our number is area code 678-686-0318, if you have a mind to. Here's something we played last week, and it got such a tremendous response to it. We, we thought we'd explain it a little more this week. It's called Sandy's Blues. Listen to this. Oscar Peterson Trio. You know, today when a lot of marriages don't last six weeks, to have a jazz aficionado have a radio show for 32 years, I think it's a remarkable feat in the arts. To me, H is kind of like a jazz musician. I mean, he, he's, he's always improvising. There's records all over the place. There's CDs all over the place. And uh, he knows where everything is until it's time to play it. Then he's scuffling, he's trying to find it. Oscar Peterson, Oscar Peterson doing Sandy's Blues. I don't know who Sandy was who contributed that to or dedicated that to, but Sandy was a very bluesy person. I have to run this by you one more once. I play a lot of vinyl, and I'm playing it just like I'm playing it at home. And I'll hear something that I find very interesting, and that catches my ear. And I'll say, hey, I gotta go back to the, and point this out to the listening audience. When you're doing what you love, you just don't get tired of it. Because that's your passion. Jazz is my passion. All right, Oscar, I get carried away when you do stuff like We did it before. We gotta leave you right now, Oscar, because I'm taking my breath away. <laughs> <laughs> 